All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and kick off today's webinar. So welcome. We're going to be talking about building a website for the new normal. We're going to take a close look at the impact the pandemic has had on design trends and really what that means for your school's website. Uh, that is your slide. I don't know why yours didn't load. Uh -oh. Oh, Risa, this was supposed to be you. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see. Let's see. Let's try this one more. There you are. I'm here. Hmm. Well, let's do it this way. There you go, Risa. Something's going on with your image. Ah, okay. Sorry about that. something's going on with Google, Google Docs. Anyway, go for it. <laughs> okay. Well, hi, I'm Risa. You guys can just take a look at the Zoom screen if you really want to see a picture of me. But essentially, I've been with Final Say for 11 years. The majority of that time, I served in a different role within the deployment department from sort of project manager, went into leadership role within that department and working directly with clients so we can deliver those high impact websites that we are also eager to see today. Prior to joining Final Sight, I served as a project manager focusing on digital marketing strategies across various industries, from education to healthcare to retail brands and everything in between. Um, I have an inherent passion for all things digital and how do we translate that into creative solutions. Great. And I'm your technical lead, <laughs> Kelly Wilson. Um, I am uh, the design manager here at Final Sight. Um, uh, most recently, um, I've kind of transitioned to this role a little bit earlier this year, but um, with most of my time at Final Sight over the past 10 years, I have um, been part of the design department, um, working as a senior designer here at Final Sight. So I've worked with many schools over the years um, and um, just really enjoy working with with each one to kind of craft and tell their unique stories. Um, more recently, I've kind of transitioned into this uh, as the design manager here to kind of lead our team. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. All right, let me go back to this. All right, great. Um, all right, so yeah, let's jump in here. Um, so Today, we've kind of broken our uh, webinar up. So we're trying to get this little Zoom guy out of here. So yeah, we've broken our discussion today up into really three sections that we're gonna take a look at. First, we're going to give you a brief sort of history lesson in design um, and take a look at sort of how design has changed over the years. Um, throughout each era and oftentimes as a result of major events, we really, we see design and technology shift and change based on what hap what's happening in the world. Um, in order to look towards the future, we really wanted to kind of look, take a step back and, and look back first. Um, this is kind of lead us into our next section where we'll take a look at how the pandemic has affected really everything over the past year, but more or past year and a half, but more specifically, we'll be talking about how it has shaped consumer behavior and online expectations. And lastly, we'll talk about how to move forward uh, from here, when thinking about your own website, we'll look at some design considerations that you should be thinking about as you contemplate your next project or redesign, and we'll share some successful final site websites that we think do a great job of supporting these topics. Great, so we're going to take a look back, right? So to better understand what's happening today, the design trend, we really want to look back and see how past events have really influenced design. And so society certainly isn't new to widespread lasting changes, right, as a result of major events. And we're going to see incontestable effects of previous pandemics, world wars, and eras marked by advances in technology. So there's some fun here, right, in the history of design. And we see each of these major events marked by some interesting design trends, right, or way in which we're feeling and how that influenced product design then maybe not so much web design, um, but after World War, when we had the 20s, the roaring 20s, right, and that desperate need for optimism, it was really certainly a time of fun and flash, you know, opulence with gold as a dominant color and art deco as a signature style. Following the Great Depression, we have the 30s, right, and an effort to 
uplift the population who is dealing with a tremendous loss, uncertainty, a new architectural style really emphasized industrial materials. So we saw concrete being used and glass along with smooth curves, which really aligned with the economic austerity, while unexpected use of bright colors would help to spark optimism and hope. Following World War I, excuse me, World War II, we had the atomic age, right? So if anybody remembers the boomerang style design, right? That was most certainly kind of a, a product out of the atomic age. And we saw abstract designs and bright colors. Uh, we, we were using heavily the color turquoise. Um, and the design trends really reflected this determination to redirect the world away from one of its darkest chapters. We then went into civil rights and Vietnam War, right, with the 60s and 70s. And so I'm sure many of us uh, certainly can relate here, right? Psychedelic designs and that featured those bright and unexpected colors, the kaleidoscopic patterns and groovy typography. But really what this did was it reflected an emerging youth culture um, that was really noted for a determination of wanting to be seen and heard. And so when we think about the lasting effects of COVID-19, right, what's in store for us now? What is going to sort of mark this era from a design trends perspective? We're coming off of a year of turmoil and isolation. And so we all want a bit of hope that the future holds better days ahead. And so we move forward with optimism and hope. So our expectations in this post-pandemic era were going to be evolving towards brighter colors, whimsical and abstract styles, this idea of simplicity, brand activism most certainly is taking center stage and experiences that promote connection, which was great when Pantone released its color of the year, it chose two colors uh, to support this idea of fortitude, calmness and confidence and a way to look forward to a brighter future. And so they had ultimate gray, that came out as well as this beautiful illuminating yellow. And so really this message is for happiness, again, you know, supported by fortitude being rock solid in our approach. Whimsical and abstract styles really allow us to feel expressive and alive in our designs, even in the absence of familiar human faces, right? And so we're right now living very much through this, you know, 2D world, right? And so how do we still feel energetic and how do we still feel connected we're gonna be able to do that by bringing in abstract styles to liven up our experiences and to liven up that design. We're looking towards simplicity as we move forward, right? We've spent long hours online, whether it is in front of a computer, or in front of a TV for some Netflix and chill, right? So we're really looking forward to frictionless and relaxing experiences. Brand activism, um, People really want to see and understand clearly the value and the culture of your school, right? Um, you know, we talk a lot about storytelling and it's most certainly taking center stage. We really want to understand what you stand for. We want to understand what those key differentiators are and how your mission applies to day-to-day -day school life. And then lastly, but, but most certainly very important is these experiences that promote connection, right? So people are going to be looking for that authenticity and they don't want to see a clash between this digital and real life experience. And so really what we wanna see is a convergence, right? So people can move freely 